I'm the director of Be Earth Number 13, a virtual reality experience that lets you embody Earth and do something about climate change. The experience was built in collaboration with climate experts, technical experts, storytellers, and together with my co-creators, Bo Aguilar and Paula Gibbs, I'm now gonna take you behind the scenes. Welcome. We need to take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. This is Boo, <laughs> and this is Paolo, <laughs> and we are and premiering. We are VR developers. Yes. So, Be Earth, um, it's an experience made in partnership with the United Nations and Facebook, CETA. Oculus, and CETA, and Flag. This experience was premiered a month ago at the World Economic Forum, and Paolo and I worked for two months in Unity to achieve this. It's a project that talks about Brazil and the situation in the Amazon forest and the man-made fires that are simply burning the Amazon to create soy, corn and livestock, basically. It's an experience that has a lot of technical aspects, but at the same time we try to bring the emotional side of it so that leaders, thought leaders, political leaders, scientists, they could bridge um, the data that was presented in the experience with an emotional tie uh, that allows people to really feel responsible for the health of our ecosystems and environments. So it was very important to mix data from places like NASA with the human side and the deep emotional connection. Um, the storytelling of everything that they can use to communicate with a person in a way that isn't just like throwing data at their faces. We can, we can make them see things, we can make them see the Amazon, we can make them see the fires, we can make them feel, and feel everything that's going on while we also give the data, while we also give everything else. So it's a very complex medium to work with because there's a lot of variables to do. There's a, everything is interconnected there, but it's also a very impactful medium to work with because everything is on your face, literally. A key element of this experience is that we use hand tracking to enhance the presence of subjects and that's based on Ilva's PhD and my past experience with psychiatrists, uh, VR experiences. And we found out that if you have actual hand tracking like what Oculus has now with the Quest, you can actually achieve that level of presence. You, f you feel more like, you feel immersed, you, you don't feel like you're watching a movie or something like that, you feel like that's you there. And every single one of the scenes, we have a different texture and material for your hands that, that is connected to what is going on in the scene. So, first scene is just a, a beautiful walk through, through the Amazon rainforest. And you are made of wood and moss, and the moss changes and moves along with you on the, on the path. Then you get transformed into water. You are me. You are Earth. And then the next scene is fire. And the avatars were made by Dylan Amora, a dear friend of us. He works at Unity Labs, and his fellows are there helping you put up the fire, because obviously you cannot do that alone. So we have the presence of those avatars in a form of forest spirits, maybe, that help you put up the fire and what you think is saving the day. But then it's very interesting that you have right after the ashes landscape. Once again, the number of fires has increased, sending clouds of smoke and black rain thousands of miles. The Amazon rainforest rarely burns naturally. 
it is too humid. The fires here start because we clear the forest, make it drier, and later burn it down for farming and cattle ranching. And for people who will never get the chance to come to the Amazon rainforest, for people who will never get the chance to come to Brazil and to understand our ecosystem, to understand how things, well, things are happening, like what is happening around here. It ends up being a very deep and emotional thing for a lot of people because you see the ashes, you become the ashes, you change along Something with that the I've land. heard from many users is that they, they feel exactly that. It's like, how did we allow this to happen to ourselves? And that's when we know that the experience was really effective because the person is not, oh, what have we done to the nature? Because people well, usually understand the, well. the they understand the damage to the natural ecosystems, but we feel disconnected from it. So I think it's very important when we have a fire, and then you you actually see your hands and they are burned, and then you make the connection that we're not doing this to the nature; we're doing this to ourselves. And something that the experience makes very clear that there is no separation, and people know that. Um, in a reductionist kind of way. People know about know, that but fact, they but they don't that. feel that connection. And that was kind of the goal. And that's kind of why we chose to do this in virtual reality, because when we were told that we would have a chance to present this data to um, world leaders at the World Economic Forum, it was, it was a no-brainer that we needed to use VR to emotionally impact so on top of building the connections with the hand, we thought it was utterly important to create a visualization of planet Earth that uh, showcased the importance of the Amazonian ecosystem, but also South America as a whole, and how it is connected to Africa, which is coming from the right, if you see this here, and the South Pole that comes from below, and you see the interconnectedness of the waves of water around the world and the flying rivers that come from the Amazon forest. And you can clearly see that our civilized world uh, that's coming from the southwest up to the Amazon, you can clearly see in that map, which is in a full scale of the planet, that we are basically going upwards more and more and destroying the Amazon to basically export uh, monoculture products um, to the whole world, basically, but mostly to developed countries. And micro influences to, to basically tap into the Amazon as a cheap resource. So we're burning the Amazon forests at an unprecedented rate. Um, and this is a very, very sad situation that we need to change. It's almost like a, most, mostly a question of long-term survivability humans as a species like in time things will get worse and worse and it will affect everyone after the fire we we show you that you didn't quite save the day by putting up the fire you just and stopped it from getting worse yes and that's all we can do now stopping it from getting worse <laughs>